Hey it's raining and welcome back or to my channel. I just want to thank you for the support on my last full length video. Anyways today's video is all about K-pop groups I will never stand. This video isn't about hating on any group or anything like that. In this video I will be talking about 8 groups and why I probably will never stand them. Without further ado let's get started. Scratch that, bring it back. They so the first groups I'm going to talk about are NCT, 17, and the boys. These groups are all together because the reason I will never stand them is the same. I think there's just way too many people in these groups. I can't remember 11 or more people's names, hobbies, and personalities. Although I do enjoy NCT Dream and 127's music I can't find myself ever wanting to get to know more about the members simply because I would have to learn all of their names. I don't really enjoy the majority of the boys or 17's music so that's also another reason why I'll never stand them. I feel like this was pretty straightforward and quick. Let's move on to the next group. This might come as a surprise to those who watched my stand list video because they were on that list. During the time I made that video I was thinking about standing them but I never did. Anyways enough of the excuses. I will never stand Stacy because I feel like their music has gone down ever since ASAP. I wasn't a fan of Stereotype or Beautiful Monster. The songs seemed to be missing something and aren't really my taste. I had high hopes for Stacy and their musical direction but it seems my expectations were too high. But don't get me wrong the girls are extremely talented and deserve every ounce of success they have. I'm not bashing any group. That's not what this channel is about. Anyway Stacy just doesn't have my type of music right now so I'm not standing them. Next up is Classy. I don't know that much about Classy. I didn't watch my teenage girl but I do know that the members are pretty young. The youngest was born in 2008 while the oldest was born in 2001. Out of the seven members four of them are minors. I also think that the releases of this group sound pretty similar. Also not to sound harsh but they kind of sound like kids bop songs. The high pitched voices of the younger members are hard to not notice. The concept doesn't seem to fit with the girls image. A lot of them look like they're trying too hard to be cool. Maybe if they had a bright or cute concept the members would look more comfortable. But what do I know I'm only a K-pop stan. Even though I stan groups such as Ivan New Jeans. Both groups with minors younger than 17. The concept that these groups go for suit the younger members image and it's less uncomfortable watching them perform. With new jeans the concept is very Gen Z and it's about what teen girls think or go through when they like someone. Or that's my interpretation of it at least. And I've only has one minor in the group. I know one young and Liz are still 17 but their birthdays are soon. Anyways I just don't really like Classy's concept, songs, and how young the members are. So here we have Black Swan. I wish I liked their music but I don't. I love how they have members from all over the world. And I really like that they have non-Asian slash non-Korean members. I think that this group has lots of drama surrounding it. Whether it's the members fighting or members leaving. I really hope that the company of Black Swan hires better producers because their past songs are horribly produced. I think that this group has lots of potential if the company puts in work and promotes them better. I truly wish the absolute best for this group but they aren't really my type of group mostly because of the music they make. Also what the heck is going on in the close to me music video? Why are they in jail? What does jail have to do with being close to someone? Anyways. In Hypen. They were also in my stand list as a casual listen. Before I get into why I don't stand them I would like to give a trigger warning for some things I'm about to get into. This is a serious topic so I understand if you skip this section. Take care of yourself.
So the reason I don't stand in hyphen is because when I was first getting into them a member had been accused of saying the n-word in a SZA song. I went on social media to see what people thought about the situation and it was nothing good. I saw fans of this group blaming black people for wanting an apology and saying that they shouldn't care about the word that may or may not have been said. Fans were posting pictures of black people being l-worded and other terrible things. After this whole situation I didn't feel comfortable joining a fandom who would do things like that to protect their idols. No matter how much you love an idol or group you should always hold them accountable and if you're not black you don't need to accept any apology. I honestly really like Nhipan's songs. They make really good music but I don't feel comfortable joining a fandom that behaves that way. Finally the last group is BTS. I probably will never stand BTS because I don't really like their current music. I understand that it's trying to cater to the western audience but it's not my vibe. I think if I discovered BTS in 2016 or earlier I would have really liked their music and I would definitely be an army. I think this is a classic case of I wish I would have known about them earlier. Okay that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to request some video ideas. My summer has been pretty busy with getting sick and playing sports. Anyways don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Thanks for watching see you in the next one.